Hi guys, I'm Tamil and today I'm going to show you some helpful tips to deal with the boss perks that have been introduced in the Soul Hunter update. And it's become quite a hardcore game if you're at high level. So let's first look at Elemental Titans and they have Spectrum Attack and Defense. And if they hit you, they can actually take both of your lives with the one hit. So you really don't want to get hit. And if you use dual, you won't need to use block, so you won't have to deal with perfect blocks, which would be the only way to avoid a spectrum hit. You can also make health potions to help you out in case you are hit, and the potion with two blue butterflies and two blueberries, and it will give you 250 health every second, and they stack, so if you take a few of them, you'll get a lot more. And you can get the ingredients from supplies if you haven't found them around the world. And here I got hit and I'd taken about seven of those. And so I got one and a half thousand health a second. They also have Spectrum Defense, the Elemental Titans. And to deal with this, you can use Nullify Magic, which even at level five can last a whole fight. And then they will receive element damage. So let's look at now Immune Titans and some have immunity to super which means you won't have a super button appear on your screen some have immunity to magic and that includes healing as well so you won't be able to heal make sure you've got full health before you start or otherwise use those health potions that I just showed you how to make some titans have immunity to normal damage so that's the damage in your stats so what you need to do is fight them with element gems. So also make sure they haven't got defense to those elements. And the green attack gems do assist as well. But you'll see here that once I've got element gems in, then the titan does take element damage. There's certain titans that require you to have specific skills. So the ones that give make perfect block only and that means that if you do a normal block it will fail and hit you you have to do a perfect block which means block right at the last second otherwise you can use dual which is what I did here and then block doesn't come into it and I definitely recommend dual for those titans particularly if it's a monstrosity the other skill is great parry only and only great and perfect parries will work normal parries will hit you so again, if you want to get a perfect parry, then you need to align your sword to the exact same angle as the Titan sword and also hit very close to the last second. Otherwise, rely on dodge or block to instead of parrying if you're having trouble with parrying. So there's also Titans that have super fast attack and you need to be skilled at responding fast with them as they do go very fast and I recommend Jewel again because it does move the fastest you can dodge quickly, quicker than light and you can hit quicker than the other two weapon classes they've also reduced the attack break windows so now it's two exclamation marks that are common for a normal break which would give you five hits and with step backs it's now three exclamation marks instead of four which will give you eight hits and one way out of this is to reduce your awakenings so when you get that too hard option on defeat you can choose that and tick choose the tick and you'll go back to lower awakenings and your boss levels will reduce and you'll have time to get your gems together you can also reduce awakenings anytime from the options menu if you scroll down and you'll see it says re restart last awakening and so at lower levels they have removed the boss perks but you'd have to restart your character to go to lower levels but restarting lower awakenings will certainly give you time to get your gems together and potions and have lower bosses so I hope you enjoyed this video guys, thanks for watching and if you did please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.